Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, we're going to put a loving spotlight on an amazing international nonprofit that has been making a profound difference in the lives of orphans for the last 17 years. Their incredible journey just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, let's admit that we sometimes make life more difficult than it has to be. We complain about things like somebody cut me off in traffic. They messed up my latte at Starbucks. And, and sometimes it takes a wonderful nonprofit like the one I'm about to feature to put everything into perspective. Joining me in studio, Ronnie Rock and Kathy Fielder. They're with Orphan Outreach. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Uh, let's start with you, Ronnie. What is Orphan Outreach? Orphan Outreach is a nonprofit based in Texas serving um, in eight countries around the world. And our focus is on making children the most important part of all of our lives. We work with orphaned and vulnerable children in some communities that most of us would never go and visit on a vacation. And our purpose is to make sure that those kids have food in their belly and a good education and the emotional and social care that they need. And we are a faith-based organization, so it is important that we make sure that they understand the values that really make us who we are on our court. Absolutely. And uh, Kathy, you've been involved for several years now as a champion, and we have a video that we're going to play, but I want you to set the stage for this video. So this is several years old. Um, you took a trip with your daughter. I did. Isabella and I, we went to um, go to redo an orphanage um, for abused girls. So we wanted to make their rooms feel as pretty as we thought they should feel inside. And so we spent a couple of days just like making beds and doing all the things that would make them feel special. And it was one of the most rewarding and I still get teary eyed every time when I think about it because it was such a rewarding experience. Incredible. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and roll that video now. Hope and Future has been impacted and blessed by Orphan Outreach who in this opportunity, we have the blessing of having Kathy and Isabella coming all the way from the United States and making these beautiful rooms for the young girls. We'll also make them feel that they are loved, that we care about them, that this is, this is a safe home. So thank you again. Thank you so much for coming and supporting us. Orphan Outreach feels so blessed to have Kathy and Isabella here with us today with this wonderful, beautiful bedding to make these girls' rooms beautiful for them so that we can really share in the mission of Orphan Outreach, which is to bring God's love to these young kids that they know that someone is caring about them, loving them, and praying for them to have a wonderful life. And we hope that we just were able to bring a smile to their face today. You know, I have to say today, was probably one of the most extraordinary experiences of my life. Um, it was an honor to make beautiful spaces for little girls who truly deserve it and to have them come into a room where they feel like they're loved and appreciated and they can feel proud. And so, you know, to be able to do that with my daughter, Isabella, and, and just spend that time working together to make something beautiful for them that they can love and appreciate and to know that they're cared for. Um, I think was really and truly one of the most extraordinary experiences I've ever had. And I actually can't wait to come back and do more. I'm very emotional. I have to throw in the bed and I don't want to wake up. I never imagined to have a bed so beautiful. There are people who love me and love me. Y quisieron esto porque de verdad son importantes. 
y es algo que me da alientos a seguir y es una esperanza que a mí me da. Gracias a, a Katherine por estar aquí con nosotros, a su hija. Gracias por darnos esta gran sorpresa. Nuestra familia Esperanza del Futuro le quiere agradecer a todos por nuestra ayuda. Eh, les agradecemos un montón porque siempre están pensando en nosotros. Y nosotras, nuestra familia Esperanza del Futuro, vamos a estar orando siempre por ellas. La vamos a estar también esperando con los brazos abiertos. Wow, Kathy, I'm watching you watch this video, and you've seen this video a dozen times before. What 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 gets you choked up? Yeah, you know, I think. Sorry, <laughs> being able to do that with my daughter, it just seemed a blessing that you could beat other people. Because you're right, lattes and all this stuff they don't matter, but this matters, and these girls need people to let them know that they they that we care and that they're special. And that they mean something, right? And that's our job. And so it was just, it was just a privilege to be able to do it and to be able to spend that time next to my daughter and just understand the value that we're bringing to their lives. Absolutely. Thank you, Warren, for, <laughs> no, for I'm, it's, it's real and it's, it's uh, vulnerable. And thank you for sharing your heart. Uh, Ronnie, go ahead and pick up that beautiful purse and hold it up and okay. tell us, tell us what we're looking at. This is a hand beaded clutch that um, we had the honor of being able to work with artisans in Guatemala and provide fair wages, dignified work for those artisan partners, and then be able to reinvest the proceeds from things like this beautiful clutch and other products. We get to reinvest them into programs like the one that Kathy was able to work at. Years ago, I was whispering to Kathy during that video that one of the young women that is in that video who is in that home at the time. She is now a young adult and part of what we call an aging out program. She didn't have family to support her. And so when she became an adult, she needed somebody to help her navigate adulthood. So we've wrapped around her as an adult. She'll never age out as an adult. She'll always be a part of her family and she's in cosmetology school now. Wow. So we're excited that she has her own apartment, her own apartment now and um, and a job and is thriving as well, a young adult. And so many of the young girls um, are not educated in Guatemala, right? And so they need to have, again, people make them feel like they're important and they matter and that the value of an education and, and that they're special enough and, and worthy enough to be able to move forward through life. And Orphan Outreach does an amazing job with helping kids feel valued. We're going to pull up the website because it's a, be a beautiful website. And I was blown away, uh, Ronnie, to learn that you've helped how many uh, children and vulnerable uh, young people over the years? Over the course of 17 years, we've helped around 130,000 children and families. This last year alone, we helped almost 20,000 children and families. That is kids in education programs. That's almost a million meals put into bellies. And that is counseling and guidance. That is clothing if needed, medical care if needed. Our goal is to make sure that cu that child can ultimately live a beautiful, independent, fulfilled life. Uh, like Sweet Raquel, mm -hmm. who you got to see in the video. And you get to know these uh, young people, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. We, I, I feel like we become the default aunties of everybody. You do. That's beautiful. You also have a big event coming up, and we're going to put it on the screen so people can get involved. Uh, this is Thursday, May 2nd yes. at the Hyatt Regency, uh, Dallas. Tell us about this event. The Children's Hope Dinner is our, it's a signature fundraiser for Orphan Outreach, and it's our opportunity to invite the local community to be able to learn more about the work that is being done. At the same time, we get to honor some local folks who have made significant impact in here in Texas and then also around the world. Outstanding. And the keynote speaker is? Tony Dungy this year. We're thrilled that Tony Dungy is our keynote speaker. And to wind back to this, yes. Yes. one of the things that you'll get to do as part of Children's Hope Dinner is we do have Orphan Outreach Marketplace and we have a curated collection of products that will only be available 
to folks who attend the dinner. So we would love for you to come. Outstanding. As I was going through the website, I found another page that really kind of hit me in the heart. It's a, it's your sponsor a child page. Let's go ahead and pull that up and, and let's talk about what that entails. If somebody wanted, wanted to sponsor a child, what does that look like? Um, from a financial standpoint, it's very simple. It's 42 bucks a month, about $500 a year. And what you do is you invest in the life of a child by being able to support the food that that child receives, the education that child receives, the care that they receive, either through a community program or through a school. Um, if they are living in a therapeutic care home, wherever they need help, you get to step in. Plus, you get to link up with that child. We have easy ways for you to write letters and get to know them. You can even, as Kathy did, go on a mission trip, meet your child in person. Outstanding. We've got a couple minutes left, so um, I want you both to give kind of a final thought. Uh, we'll start with you, Kathy. Well, you know, honestly, I feel like um, it's a privilege to be able to be a part of this. I um, really feel passionately and strongly about how supportive and amazing this organization is. They really do good, <laughs> you know? I mean, and that's something that's that's a big thing, right? They you really do so much good in this world. And I am proud to be able to support and champion it. Outstanding. We'll give you the last word, Ronnie. The last word. <laughs> you know, I think a lot of folks ask, what would Jesus do, right? It's, I always say those things. And um, I think that we have the honor and the privilege of getting to do what I think Jesus would do if he was walking amongst us right now. He would be feeding people. He would be making sure that young ladies had opportunity to thrive. He would be making sure that those who are weak were made strong. And so that's the work that Orphan Outreach does. And we'd love to have more folks join us, more folks like Kathy be champions with us. Wow. Great way to end this segment. And we'll also leave you with the website, with, which is orphanoutreach.org. Kathy and Ronnie, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.